Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan, welcome again. In this video, we will be going over the letter ta. So here we go. In this video, we will first backtrack a sh just for a second so I can explain to you the long vowels. So I forgot to do this because now Alif itself does not use any of the long vowels, but from here on out, many of the letters are going to actually use these long vowels. So here are our short vowels, Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma. And here are the three vowels themselves in the long form. So Fatha is the A. Uh. Now these are also the English transliteration. And in intermediate uh, Arabic series in the future, we will use more uh, of the script. But for now, since this is for beginners, we are not going to do that. That will just be way too confusing and you will find that it hurts your head. Because I found that, that that's what happened to me in the beginning. So I want to... Uh, try to eliminate that as much as possible. So here we go. We have the long form, the long vowel a, uh, the a a denoting the long form. It is in the transliteration form. It is known as alif ulmad. And over here, you actually have what it looks like. So you will have a letter with a fatha above it, and then to just to the left of that, you will have the alif. For the kasra, the short form is the e. For the long form, it is called Ya ulmad, and this is the e sound. The long, same thing for two seconds instead of one second, like the e. So in this one as well, and all three of these, you are going to have your diacritical marking with on top of a letter or below, and then just to the left, you will have your actual letter denoting the long form. So with the ya ulmad, you have the kasra down below and then you have the ya uh, and that is the long e and the dhamma the short form of the u is the u right here this is the letter and then the long form is waw ulmad now this is interesting for this for this makaraj a lot of people and i did the same thing in the beginning i said wow like wow but actually is more pronounced well so you want to um close your mouth a little bit more when you say that whoa well, ulmad. This is the u sound. Also, same thing. You have the dhamma above a letter, and just to the left of it, you will have your wow symbol. So down here, we have. I've written all these out in the four positions. This is the alif in its four positions: the ba, the ta, the lam, and the fa. And these are up here, so we can we can revisit our other letters. So the first letter that we are going to do is going to be our ba again so we can explain our alif so let's come right down here and we will draw our ba we'll start with the first position again excuse me over here the first position of the ba put our dot and remember we will add the end position of the alif we'll just go right there and then the fatha, so anybody who remembers from the last video, this was the ba. So as you can see, there is a fatha and the alif. Same thing, you have the fatha here and here, and just to the left of it, you have the alif. So this is the ba in the long form, ba. So I apologize for forgetting to put that in there. Inshallah, we will do our best to not make that mistake again. So now let's move on to the ta. So the inter interesting thing about this is the letter ta, ba, ta, and the, the second, third, and fourth letters, they all have the exact same form. You're going to draw them just like this, except your, dot is, your dots will be in a different place. So here, same thing, you're going to start with the ta in the first position. Here's the ta, isolated, here is ta in the first position with our dots above and then we need our alif in the end position so we put that right on there we also need that fatha because this is also a long vowel form to make the ta same thing we're going to use our kasra excuse me our fatha above our consonant and then to just to the left of that we have our alif elongating the fatha 
and this is ta in the English transliteration and get some good practice in here let's start with our letters alif let's do four alif put those fathas up there and the hamzas let's do our buzz getting some fantastic practice here boom there we go there's our buzz now let's do our tas two dots two dots two dots two dots Now we will finish up again with some practice on our full script forms of our letters. So here we go. Alif with the Hamza and the Fatah in its initial position, excuse me, isolated position. Lam in the first position, where's our lamb? Lam in the initial position with our Fa in its end position. Putting our dot up there and our short vowel Kasra. Alif. Now let's do that one a couple more times. And this is something that after a couple of days of doing it, you will remember. You will remember if you don't give up and you keep going. There is our Alif. Let's do our buzz. First position of the ba, adding the Alif in the end position with our dot down below. And our fatha above denoting alif ulmad, our long vowel for the ba. Same thing, let's do it again. Try to make these a little neater. There we go. Now let's add our ta. Remember, ta is the same thing. Exact same here is our ta again. We're going to use our ta and the alif again. So the first position for the ta with our two dots above, our alif in the end position. And our fatha above for the alif ulmad for the long vowel, denoting excuse me, denoting the ah sound. So here we go again. Ta, ta, and that's it. In the next video, we will be going over the letter the, and the is spelled excuse me is written out exactly like ba and ta. The only difference is here where we have two dots. I will just briefly show you what it's going to look like. You're going to have three dots and a bit of a triangle formation. And again, you will be putting your fatha before the alif, for the alif ulmad, the long, the long ah uh, sound. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Peace be upon you. May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you also. Allah Hafiz, goodbye, and I will see you in the next one.